Hey there, what's up everybody? Just wanted to talk with you quickly about another um, issue that's come up here um, really uh, recently. So as you probably know, I play a lot of these games out in advance and they're definitely out in advance of what happens on the blog. Um, and so as a result, um, I sometimes have to uh, slow myself down a little bit, especially when something interesting happens that may not necessarily be a close game or something tight, but might have something to do with sort of the way that the simulations work or might give us some sort of insight into what's um, going on. Well, I have something here to uh, show you that uh, struck me as um, interesting here from uh, uh, Diamond Mine Baseball. So as you can see here, this is right after the uh, most recent game um, of today, which you will see today, the same day this video comes out, where the uh, Braves beat the Giants 3-0. Uh, Spoiler alert, apologies for spoiling that one for you. Um, we go check out this game here, though, between the Senators and Athletics. This is one that I didn't show. And the reason why I didn't show is pretty obvious. I mean, the Athletics are 7-6. Washington's 2-11. and Washington's really bad. But, uh, you know, I feel kind of bad for the Senators because, you know, yeah, they are not pitching or not playing that well. But when you have the computer managing their lineup and their uh, bullpen the way that the computer is in this one, I mean, you can kind of see where the problems come from, right? So um, uh, Dick Wyke uh, started the game here for uh, Washington, and he only went three and two-thirds innings. And I was kind of surprised when they, came, they pulled him out, right? So you can see that he went through the third inning, walked one, two, three in a row, walked in a run, but was able to get out of it. And at the um, uh, by the time the fourth inning came on, um, Washington had uh, scored three runs in the uh, top of the fourth, um, mostly because of Eddie Yost's home run uh, that made the game three to one. And uh, I would think that, you know, naturally, especially given the state of the Senators' bullpen, that they would want to um, keep, you know, the uh, pitcher in there. He wants uh, Hank Majeski to lead off the inning. And then up came uh, uh, Suter, who grounded into a double play. And you're thinking, okay, this isn't too bad. Guerra then came up next and hit a single into right center field. And next thing you know, they're changing the pitcher, and they have Walter Roth going there to pitch. Now, this is a big problem, right? First of all, because Walter Roth, like, didn't do a good job at all. Second, because the Senators then had to go into their bullpen, which is why the Athletics ended up scoring 12 runs, because the Senators have an awful bullpen. You know, but the biggest problem of all is that you didn't get enough pitches and enough um, at-bats here out of uh, Wyke. I mean, he threw, what, 74 pitches? Yeah, only 35 of them were strikes. I know he walked six in less than, like, four innings, right? That's a problem. That's not good. You're not going to play well. But he had two double plays to help him out. He just gave up a base hit, which was only the third hit he'd given up all game. I mean, why are we taking this guy out early? I don't understand. I don't understand the logic behind this at all. Um it's not like the Senators are not, uh, you know, playing their players um, enough. In fact, I'll uh, pull this on up for you. I'm going to have to uh, change sort of the uh, screen focus so you can actually see this. So uh, we'll go over here to screen mode. Now this will pop up for you. This is a, uh, <clears throat> well, uh, open, uh, <laughs> expanding the image doesn't help much, but this is this comes straight from uh, the uh, game itself as I was playing at the very, very end, that is. I wanted to show sort of what the uh, bullpen looked like for Washington, right? So you have Calvert and Hudson are clearly starters, right? They're not going to go into this game at all. Scarborough really shouldn't go into it because we need him to pitch. And Thompson, we also probably will need to start as well in the next game, right? Probably Scarborough is going to be the uh, starter for the for Washington's next one. But we kind of need to have both of these guys available. They used one, two, three, four, five pitchers in this game, including Welteroth, who was the guy who came in to uh, relieve Wyke, who had just pitched 45 uh, pitches the day before. Now, I mean, this isn't completely out of the question, right? This isn't something that's totally unrealistic that wouldn't happen at all in 1949, right? I mean, we've talked about this before, and we show that there were starters who would pitch in relief, and there were guys who would come in two days in a row and have very little rest and so on and so forth. But um, this idea that, oh, you know, Dick Wyke, after pitching very, very few pitches is just too tired to continue is just a bunch of junk i mean if i were controlling the situation i would have left him in at least to get 100 if not more especially since he'd only given up three hits and only had given up uh, what one run to that point and wasn't really in danger of giving up more there was a runner on first base yeah but there were two outs you know Anyway, this is um, just another one of these complaints that I have sort of about the game and about the um, uh, thinking that goes behind the uh, computer manager. Now, we can um, look closer into this. I think I've shown you this before. If I haven't, you can see this sort of for the first time. So if you want to go and, like, figure out what's going on, you need to go to the roster manager profile. Then you go to the Washington Senators. That brings you up. Here's the roster itself. And this is where all the transactions sort of happen in real, lot, real time. But you can't see the transactions here. Why? Because this was invented by people who don't know, like you don't play their own games. Or you can see the full list of pitchers, which includes guys who are not actually on the roster. Why? Because reasons. 
whatever. What we really care about are like the managerial tendencies, right? And this will tell you here for pitching, um, using relievers and clovers, closers is set here to neutral. I hate this system. I complained about this before. I hate this because this doesn't mean anything. It's all relative, right? I want something that's absolute. And then the other thing we can do is we can look at down here at Dick Wyke and see, okay, what happens? And, oh, look, yes, pitching uses relievers most frequently, losing, using closers most frequently. And that's probably what happened. It probably was the case that the man, computer manager looked at this and said, oh, well, we're in trouble, and using relievers is set to most frequent here, so we better use a reliever. I mean, okay, you know, so it is, but um, still, it, it's, it makes me feel pretty upset that this sort of thing would happen and that I would end up having to stand by looking on helplessly and wondering what I'm going to do for starting pitchers for him the rest of the way through. Yeah, he started 14 games in real life, only had two complete games, right? So yeah, maybe you don't want the guy to throw a complete game every time out, but I mean, does that mean that, you know, with um, runner on first base in a three to one ball game that he's leading in the bottom of the fourth inning, we take him out? I mean, that's, that strikes me as just being totally you know, out of line and, and, you know, out of sync with what would happen in reality. Anyway, I'm going to write about this. It's probably not going to come out on the blog for like about a month or so, um, just so you know. Um, but uh, I'm going to write about this a little bit as well. And uh, this is another one of those little finicky things about Diamond Mine Baseball that really drives me nuts. I keep asking myself, how difficult would it have been in this game for Tom Tippett to create a um, computer manager that's at least somewhat transparent that you could do some things with to help him out, right? Because, I mean, as this is created, yeah, I know that it is supposedly based on real-life statistics, but not apparently not for 1949. I just don't see that happening at all. I don't see this happening where, you know, a guy only goes three and two-thirds innings and uh, is not in any trouble at all, and they just take him out anyway, even though there's nobody available in the bullpen. I mean, that just rubs me the wrong way. Anyway, there you go, and uh, you can uh, let me know uh, what you think about this uh, in the comments and so on. Uh, let me know if you agree or disagree. I'm happy either way, um, but as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't. it's not totally immersion-breaking, but it kind of rubs me the wrong way. Anyway, talk to you later.